everybody. I'm probably thinking what you're thinking, and the word is brrrr. It is very, very brrrr cold outside is the story, and that's the top ten that we are going to talk about. And uh, let's go ahead and continue. It is very brrr, brrr, brrr cold outside. Um, dry and seasonably uh, cold tonight. That's why I had uh, did that for you, so you know that it is very, very cold. So bundle up if you're going to be going out tonight in layers. I mean extra layers if you're going to be traveling out this evening. And you're going to want to bundle up tomorrow as well, and we'll tell you how long it's going to last. But there's actually a good side to the story. We've got a gradual warm-up coming up, but let's talk about the next couple of days. We'll focus in on this gradual warm-up. It's going to be kind of exciting, but I don't think it's going to last for very long. So, unfortunately, let's move on. Uh, for Saturday, mostly sunny skies, the high 30 degrees. No precipitation expected on Saturday. That's a plus right there. The low goes down to 19 degrees. That is awfully cold stuff we're talking about again. We'll have a wind coming out from the west at 5 miles per hour. Sunday, 31 degrees, we begin to warm up a tenth. No precipitation expected on Sunday, so that's another relief. Partly sunny skies on Sunday again. Wow. And the low, 22 degrees, and then we'll have wind coming from the northwest at 6 miles per hour. And then here comes the next round of precipitation, so get ready to spin that wheel. On Monday, we're looking at a wintry mix. On Monday, snow, rain, mix, maybe some freezing rain and sleet. We'll kind of keep an eye on that whole situation. And the high for Monday is going to be 36 degrees the high. We're at 30% accuracy for precipitation, so we'll be watching that closely, I said. That could be the next uh, weather maker that we're going to have to watch. So stay tuned for that. Uh, 34 the low on Monday, and we'll have a wind coming from the southwest at 5 miles per hour. That completes this update, so please stay tuned. We're going to let you know when this gradual warm-up begins and how long it's going to stick around in southeast Michigan. I'll have those details coming up just ahead. Stay with us on the Michigan News Channel, and you're watching us tonight at 831. We'll be right back.